Hello uh, everybody, it's Stinger Splash back with another Blu-ray Steelbook update. Um, it's a day later than I was going to do it, I was going to do it yesterday, uh, Saturday, uh, when I got most of these Steelbooks. Um, but I ended up doing a lot of the uh, moving about with furniture and stuff, so it got a bit late, so I thought I'll do it today, Sunday. Um, so I hope everyone's having a nice weekend. Um, we're going to start off first with a Steelbook that isn't out this week. It actually came out a few weeks ago, uh, so it was a late pickup, and that was uh, The Corpse Bride. Um, this one's an entertainment store exclusive, uh, limited to 4,000 copies. Uh, it's got the embossed title there, uh, usual border. Got some nice artwork as well, it's a matte finish, but uh, it's only 14 99 so it was a pretty decent price anyway. Um, but I used some player points to uh, get a couple of quid off, because um, I wouldn't have, you know, wouldn't have paid the full price, just because entertainment store reduced prices eventually anyway, but... Uh, I really wanted to get this one because I really like the artwork on this from pictures I've seen and so I wanted to get it uh, sooner rather than later but I've still got to pick up True Romance at some point so I'm not sure when that'll be but uh, yeah it's a nice uh, nice release really well done uh, another good stuff uh, and there's another one from Wood oh, that's good stuff okay so we're going to move on to this week's releases um, there are four uh, a couple of which I think were moved, uh, one of which didn't even have a release date until a few days ago. Uh, but we're going to start off with Mary Poppins. Uh, now this is a good because I didn't get this on uh, Amory. Um, I was going to buy it and was waiting for a good price and then this came up. You know, it was announced as a steelbox and I never, I never actually got around to buying it. So that was one of the reasons uh, where it's good because a lot of the time I end up selling my Amory and uh, it costs a lot more for the steelbook obviously. Um, yeah, this one's got... Uh, all four of these actually that I'm going to show, and we've got a lot of them embossing on them, um, more than the usual that you'll get from films. They are all matte finish, I'll say that. Um, yes, uh, this one has the title embossed, and also uh, Mary Poppins, and uh, the umbrella is embossed too. Um, the rest of it is uh, is pretty standard. Um, they've all got nice back artwork, uh, pretty much. Um, this one, well, this one was nineteen ninety nine, I think, but I paid seventeen ninety nine. Used it, uh, ten percent off code. Um, it's got the thirtieth anniversary edition, uh, so fiftieth anniversary edition disc. Uh, yeah, it's not quite thirty years old. Fifty fiftieth anniversary disc, um, which came out at the end of last year. Um, the inside artwork is okay. It's a little bit blurry. Um, I also noticed as well, my copy's got a spine slash on it. It's pretty thin, but I haven't had a spine slash for a while. Um, but it's there, so at least I'll be able to contact uh, Zabby and they'll give me, you know, some money back off it. So it'll probably end up only being maybe thirty quid or something like that. Um, actually, probably not that much, fifteen quid. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll contact them about that uh, later on. I only just noticed that before I started recording. Uh, next up, we have uh, the one classic uh, of the uh, of the four Disney Steelbooks here today. Uh, One hundred and one Dalmatians. Uh, some people actually got this on Friday. I was I was not fortunate enough to to get it on Friday. I got it on Saturday. Um, I actually ordered two copies. Um, I wanted to cancel, but if it cancelled, I would have had to pay full price. And uh, so I think I paid thirty four pound off for the for the pair. It's about seventeen pound on each uh, using a discount code and also some Xavier reward points on the order. Um, so yeah, this is really really good though. Um, unlike some of the other uh, recent releases that have uh, you know an embossed title, but it's really sort of the whole thing is raised and then the individual numbers aren't raised. Uh, this is all embossed, the 101 and the Dalmatians and the border. Uh, the two small puppies, uh, the noses on Pongo and Padita are both uh, embossed as well. Uh, Cruella de Vil's face and also the headlights. Uh, so a lot of embossing on this one, very very good stuff indeed. Um, the back is, is the only one of the four today um, from Disney that uh, really lax a little but uh, it's still it's still quite nice uh, inside good old blue disc that uh, we know and hate um, the inside artwork could, could be a little brighter but it's still pretty nice um, one thing as well about these Disney releases uh, none of them came with Disney movie reward points which uh, I'm pretty peeved about because that's uh, you know 600 points that I've lost out on technically it should be 700 because two of them are 3D releases but they only gave me 150 for Monsters Inc 3D um, so yeah it's 600 points and with the points I've already got that would have been a free a free 3D Blu-ray um, which I would have sold because I've got them all anyway um, but you know I would have sold it and it would have given me you know a couple of quid off each 
each steel book, so I've, I've missed, missed out there. I might try and contact them and see if they'll give me the points, but I don't I don't expect they will. Okay, so on to the last two, uh, up first we have the uh, Up 3D. Uh, and this one um, I had the 3D Amorites, I saw that, but I'm still going to keep the Up Super Set, which I bought on release back in oh, probably 2010, I think it was, um, which is the two Blu rays, uh, DVD, and digital copy disc. Um, and a really nice embossed slip case. Now, uh, the embossed slip case actually has this image on the front with all the embossed balloons. Obviously, it's not embossed here on the back, but on the front, the, uh, the title is, of course embossed we also have uh, the two characters embossed as well um, and yeah this is one of my favorite uh, Pixar films um, here's the discs there's a 3d and unfortunately it is only two discs uh, so you only get the 2d feature disc you don't get the bonus disc uh, I have a feeling that um, you know if they do Cars 2 this will happen Braves coming up and I think Braves gonna be the same you only get the 3D and 2D film discs, so if you want those that bonus disc, which I know a lot of people aren't bothered about, but I am, then you're gonna have to keep your, your 3D amores, uh, at least for that one, or 2D amores for others. Um, I have a feeling Pinocchio is only gonna be one disc as well, so I have to keep my my uh, three disc uh, Blu-ray DVD one for that. But anyway, back onto up. Uh, yeah, the inside out again is is nice, but it could be a little bright. It's a little dull, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but uh, yeah, this one appeared. Uh, I've got ten percent off, so I think it's nineteen pound ninety instead of twenty one pound. Um, all these are still available as well, by the way. I mean, one hundred and one Dalmatians did sell out briefly, but uh, it came back. So obviously, a lot of the scalpers uh, cancelled their orders. So everyone's available to get one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my spare one. I really, from now on, should just buy one copy of everything, um, no matter what it is, because buying extras. I mean, there's always going to be uh, replacements available anyway. Uh, the last one for this video then is Cars 3D, um, which again I've got the Cars 2D uh, with slipcase which I'm going to sell, um, but I never got the Cars 3D Amore which only came out I think in November, and I never got around to getting it, so that was good. Um, it doesn't mention 3D on any of these discs, that's a good, uh, on these cases, that's a good thing as well. Um, too many cases these days have 3D plastered all over them. Uh, now this one's got some, uh, re probably the best uh, embossing for me, um, you've got the title, also, all of the uh, the badge around there, uh, the two spikes up here, are embossed too, and underneath. And then you have a tire here is embossed. Also, uh, the eyes, uh, and also the mouth, on the uh, on the car there. Um, back artwork there with Mater is uh, very nice as well. Um, as I said, I, I would, if these are being glossy, they would look so much better. I think they'd be a lot brighter. But there you go. So this is the car's 3D disc, which is very nice and 2D, at least with these ones you actually do get uh, you know with open cars you actually get the, the printed disc ones rather than the, the rubbish uh, the rubbish blue discs but that's just because they, they're not going to reprint the discs these are just the, you know, the older discs that they've used um, and uh, the inside out with this is a pretty nice probably one of the better ones just on brightness but uh, still could, could be a little bit brighter uh, this one I actually got 20% off um, with my mystery discount code Used it for a few items and a couple of the steelbooks were in that. Um, Frozen is the other one that I got, you know, five pound off about twenty quid. Frozen 3D, which I'll have in a few weeks. But yeah, this one was I think it was sixteen pound eighty, I think, instead of twenty one pound. And I can't. I just missed. The, <laughs> I just ran out of time there. Uh, just got over the, the eight minute uh, mark for this one. But uh, yeah, so uh, you know that was a good price on this one. Um, but uh, altogether. You know, a good little bundle there uh, of releases for this week. Um, there was a few others that were supposed to be out. Uh, there will be Blood and uh, The Boy with the Striped Pajamas, or The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, I can never remember the name of the title. Um, they were both limited to 2,000 copies and uh, they sold out pretty quickly. Uh, but they were supposed to be both out on the 10th and uh, they haven't even been dispatched. They haven't been sent out by uh, Studio Canal, of course. It, it, a lot of their exclusives end up coming a few days late, but this is we're talking about a week late apparently for uh, for the boy the boy in the striped pajamas. But uh, no information at the moment on there will be blood. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on with it, but I have seen a picture of it that someone from you know uh, Studio Canal must have given out. But uh, it's a matte finish and it doesn't look great. But it's only two thousand copies, so it's going to be it's going to be rare. Um, but uh, yeah, when I get them, I'll show them. I'm also going to have Ender's Game. Probably um, my friends picking one up tomorrow. 
uh, from HMB, it's an HMB exclusive, so if you post it off on Monday afternoon, I might have it on Tuesday, uh, but it might be Wednesday, but I'll do a video for that one then, and uh, yeah, who knows, maybe maybe others will, will come, but uh, I doubt it might just be that one uh, for that video. Um, so that'll do for now. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again next time uh, with another Blu-ray still update, and I've got the, the next chronological review as well, uh, probably some time during the week. Uh, so until then, thanks again for watching, and uh, have a good weekend.